All right, so today I am making vegan chocolate chip cookies to bring to my sister's house tonight because we're gonna go there for dinner and find out the gender of the baby that her and her husband are having and I'm so excited. So I decided to make um, some cookies to bring as a little dessert for dinner. And um, yeah, I've never made these before. I just found it on Pinterest. So we're gonna see how it goes. By the way, they're vegan because my sister is basically vegan. It's more like a focus on being dairy free because it doesn't really sit that well with her, but we're already vegetarian, so basically she's a vegan. I don't really know what the line is that makes her like a vegetarian that's dairy free and like what other steps she'd have to do to be like officially vegan. I don't know, but that's why. And it's actually really awesome because like the recipe doesn't have eggs or any type of like egg substitute so it's not like too complicated and you can eat the dough so all right so first you want to do one cup of softened butter um, i'm using the earth balance stuff i never bought it in like the container before so i had to measure it out and using that measuring thing is super awesome. I usually only have ever used it for peanut butter. I'm not sure what else you'd use it for, but it's pretty cool. And then you want to add... Oh, I added a half a cup of sugar and a half a cup of brown sugar. And you want to mix that all together with the butter. And get it all creamy and stuff. Also, this hand mixer that we got for the wedding. It's like a Hamilton Beach one, I think. I love it. It's white. Beautiful. And then it comes with that container, so all like the mixing attachments are in the container with the cord, and it's all kept together. So I looked so hard to find one, and I was not about to get the KitchenAid hand mixer because it didn't have the compartment to store the stuff. So Hamilton Beach, super awesome, Bed Bath & Beyond, that's where we got it from. Um, now I'm adding a fourth a cup of the silk soy milk, so I sh shook it. Are you supposed to shake it? Because then it came out like weirdly foamy and stuff. I don't know. And then you add a teaspoon of vanilla. I never measure vanilla. That's just how I grew up. Vanilla's great. So you pour a whole bunch in there. Mix that all up together. And now I'm adding two and one fourth cup of flour. I did it like in increments and it gets cloudy and I'm just wildly mixing here. Super easy recipe. Um, and then... I had to scrape the sides because you know you want it all mixed super great. This recipe called for some salt, but it had said that if you're using the earth balance, they didn't put any because it was already kind of salty, so I didn't either. Also, who cares? And then I added the whole bag of vegan chocolate chips. I got them at Woodman's and I tried one plain, it tasted just like the other stuff. So I just mix that all together. Did I say you put baking soda in? You're supposed to put a teaspoon of baking soda in with the flour. I didn't show that, that's why I forgot about it. Um, yeah, so then you just use your spatula to mix the chocolate chips in with it, put it in an oven at 350 degrees, and it said eight to 10 minutes. I put it mine in like right after I turned the oven on, so it took more like 12 minutes, and they're super good actually. So <laughs> there's me like flipping around. So I have these drying racks that my mom got me, and I love them, because then you can stack multiple on top of each other. Oh, and the video's done. Okay, um, they're super good. These cookies are awesome. I would never eat one and think, oh, it's vegan. So I'm gonna like put a little recipe stuff down below and y'all better try it because it was really awesome and super duper easy. Toodles.